once again, we're going to welcome to the 2011 AT&T MLS All-Star Game. The MLS All-Stars will take on Manchester United on Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. on ESPN2, Telefutura, and TSN. We'd like to start out this press conference with a few words from Coach Hans Bach of the New York Red Bulls. Uh, he is flanked by David Beckham of the LA Galaxy, Brad Davis of the Houston Dynamo, and Thierry Henry of the New York Red Bulls. Coach? Yes, thank you. Uh, of course, always a challenge to face United. Uh, we've seen so far in the preseason the friendlies they play, that they take this uh, really serious. They will definitely go for it every, every friendly game in the preseason. So, as I said, definitely a challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully, we can pick up a good result. We've got some really important players in for this game. And I want to say something a little bit about my picks. So, of course, everyone knows uh, David's great career with Man United, even with Real Madrid, and his comeback so quick after his Achilles surgery has been phenomenal. Great season this year. Brad, definitely one of my favorite players on the left hand side. Good understanding of the game, knowledge of the game. Same with theory of his career with Arsenal and Barcelona. For the French national team, of course, great season. Top four, I think, top four eleven so far. So we have uh, definitely quality players in. You know, we have one session tomorrow, and work with some basic tactics, make it as simple as possible for the game on, on Wednesday. Great. Now we're going to open it up for a question and answer portion again. Please raise your hand and wait for the microphone to arrive. Let's start here in the middle, in the blue shirt. That's you. Uh, Thierry, can, you've been here. You've been here a year now, uh, parts of two seasons. Can you talk about uh, what's different and what's the same, what you expected from the league, and your choice to come here again? Oh, yeah. Well, I have to say, it's been more than uh, amazing for me. Um, as I said, you know, the other day we played the uh, Seattle, but yeah, it's far from the book. Uh, we played the San Jose, 41. You know, people are responding well. Uh, the fans are coming to see the games. Um, like people said, you know, you have some amazing players at this team. You know, uh, obviously, sometimes people are going to talk about me and play some players coming from Europe, but you will be surprised if you, uh, if some of the guys are watching the games, you can have a nice, if you really do. Uh, we have some amazing players playing all, all, around, the, all around the league and, uh, and you know, can maybe have a future playing in Europe and that, that depends on them, but um, I've been uh, actually surprised a lot of the level, the, um, the physicality of the game here and, um, and also the understanding of uh, some of the players in this league. Hello, over here. Yes, Hans. Uh, considering that uh, Juan Aguilar has had trouble finding playing time under you, were you surprised that he was picked by the commissioner for the All-Star game? And do you have any problems with him being on the team? No, not at all. It's, uh, it's a player for the future. Of course, he's only still 18 years old. He's a home ground player the Red Bull Arena. So that was no surprise for me. So it's, I have no problem with that. Look on the side. Thierry, could you um, comment on, uh, on Chicharito, your observations of him? What impresses you specifically the most about him? I think the most important thing for, for him and his right is his whole goal, especially the way he plays. You can see that he's uh, kind of a whole fashion type of striker. Uh, he, 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 that's all he wants. He wants to score a goal. He wants to be in the six or four. He's working for but he's defended from the United States. Uh, he's always aware that the ball's going to come, so he knows what he's working for. And, uh, he's a great finisher. Uh, I mean, Going at uh, Manchester United and, uh, and, 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 and doing what he did, it's just uh, amazing. I don't think anyone, anyone was expecting him to do what he, what he did, but um, he did. So um, I think my United should be, should be happy with what uh, he did. But um, as a striker, you can only respect a, a guy that scores most of the time. Very Jack Bell, New York Times. Yes, for David, for David, David uh, this is the last year of your contract with, with MLS. Um, you have certain options, I'm sure, whether it's going back to Europe or remaining. Have you been talking with the Galaxy about possibly extending your stay? 
Um, I haven't spoke to, sorry, good afternoon. Um, I haven't spoken to Galaxy yet. They know obviously my situation and where I stand right now. Um, obviously this is my last year in, in the five year contract, but um, I have to just wait. You know, I had a bad injury last year. Uh, I'm coming back now and I feel, I feel great right now. So I have to feel uh, and, and see how I feel at the end of the, the season and see how my body feels. Um, and if I continue to feel like I do right now, then I continue to play. Uh, I'm, I'm happy here, uh, I'm happy playing for the Galaxy, I'm happy playing in this league. Um, I enjoy playing in this country. Um, my family loves living here, so um, but it's just down to how really my body feels at the end of the year. Thierry, for someone who left Arsenal to go to Barcelona, what would you say to check the crowd right now? Unfortunately for you guys, I'm not the boss of Arsenal, so I want to let you deal with that. I can see it's already as difficult for sales can be blown. Then we will see, I'm like you guys. I took my decision and that was my name now. We will see what sales is going to do. Hey, over here. Thierry, uh, do you think the match tonight will be the sign of a player like Beshka Schneider to come closer to the level of Barcelona? Wow, well, now I'm, I'm <laughs> the boss of my United. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I, I don't know. Do you think that? I don't know. That's your whole team. Do you know, I don't know. Seriously, I mean. I think so, Alex Ferguson is right there, you should ask him, I mean, I think he, he can be someone amazing for the league after, you know, what am I to talk about that, you know, I mean, I respect anybody and everybody, but, you know, we'll see, I mean, that's the type of question I should ask, so Alex. Question? Uh, this question is for Brad. Brad, since you arrived in the league in 2002, did you ever think that you'd be sitting next to a David Beckham and a Thierry Henry and the league would be filling up stadiums like it is in Portland and Seattle and other places? I would hope it did, but it has. Um, you know, the league's grown so much uh, over the past few years that you know more and more guys are, are, are coming over here. This league wasn't wasn't here when I was growing up, and you know I grew up watching these guys, and you know uh, tried modeling myself around some of these guys that are coming over now. It's been fantastic. So you know, as I said, it's, it's uh, the league's gotten better. The talent's very good here, and it's getting better. So you know, hopefully, it continues to go in the right direction. Uh, David, you've been on the other side of this, playing for United and Madrid and being on tour and having fans in a foreign country turn out to see you play, going up against the, the little team that could. How do you approach a game like this when you're playing for the big famous club versus now when you're playing for the league that has something to prove? I think when you play at that level, um, you approach every game exactly the same, whether it's a friendly in a different country or whether it's a European Cup one. You play to win. Uh, you know, Manchester United players don't come over here just for a, a holiday and just to have a nice run around the field. Uh, they come over here to win, they come over here to work hard. And it was the same when I came over to different countries with Manchester United and Real Madrid. You know, you, you come here to get your fitness up, you come here to uh, work hard, uh, and you come here to win. So we know that Manchester United are going to want to play this game and want to get their fitness in, not want to get any injuries, but also want to win the game. And, uh, you know, we're well aware of that. Can you go with Brian Lewis up the New York Post? This is for Hans. Uh, Hans. Yeah, so you talked about, you talked about Juan Aguidelo and you said you weren't surprised that he's on this roster and you didn't have a problem with it. But you also talked about how it's a little bit much him early at such a young age, as a tender age, and you want to shield him and protect him from this kind of attention. Does this make it harder? Does this make your job more difficult in doing that? Not really. I told the press a couple of weeks ago when it's all about Taco Della, I just say, please leave him and let him grow his own way, his own way, team. He has a future definitely, but it's, it's no end product. It's a long, long way to go. But of course, it will be. Difficult is around when he's the target every day or more for the appointments, appearances, interviews and stuff like that. So easy to lose, lose focus. So we just have to work with that. But it's, that's the way it is. David, you've always been known for sportsmanship throughout your career. 
Well, today you played in a game where Balotelli was substituted for a lack of sportsmanship. What did you think about what he did yesterday? You know, I think at the end of the day, um, being on the field, I was surprised at first, but then I watched it back a few times and I, I believe he thought it was offside uh, from just his, uh, his mannerisms. But uh, I think what the manager, what Mancini was saying is, you know, it doesn't matter whether you think it's offside, be professional and score the goal, uh, whether it counts or not. But in defence of, uh, of Mario, I think that uh, I think he generally thought he was offside. But, you know, there's a lot of young kids watching, there's a lot of uh, you know, kids looking up to, you know, these teams that come out, these great players, but Mario's been a great player for quite a few years and he's, he's still very, very young, so he'll continue to get better, I'm sure. Um, um, as well, like Thierry said, I'm not a Manchester City manager, thank goodness. <laughs> but, uh, no. You know, I, I believe that he threw it himself. Who's the front row here? Terry. Terry. Maybe we spent quite a bit of time back in Europe and in the whole season with the City of the Galaxy. It's something that was appealed to you and to back to Europe for the Premier League. And then your stint or in the races? No. Why is that? I'll be here if I'm done with you. Uh, my career over there, I was fortunate enough to, to win everything on the national team on the club level. I'm happy with that. You know, I'm, I'm happy here and I'm trying to, to help my team winning something. It's all really difficult, trust me. I'm not having a, such a great season, but uh, um, the motivation is here and the desire is here. You know, so uh, I respect what they did, but for me, that's, that's, that's where I am right now. Mm -hmm. You want the middle here? Oh. David, what are your thoughts on the uh, um, the chemistry between the chosen All Star team, and do you think you guys have what it takes to actually beat Man United? You know, I think we've got a lot of young, good talent in this thing. Um, it's players that have been at the top of their game this season and and for our seasons as well. It's not just about obviously this is All Star team. There's players on this All Star team that have been involved in the last few years. So um, you know, these players are good players. Thierry said it before, you know, it's not just about you know, the big European players that are coming over to this league. There's a lot of young talent, like Hans was just saying. You know, there's, there's a lot of young talent through, through, throughout this league and it's going to grow and it's continuing to grow. So as long as that continues, then this league will continue to grow like it is already uh, and bring other players over and uh, have that excitement as well. But you know, we, I think we have a chance on uh, you know, it's going to be tough. It's never easy coming up against Manchester United, no, no matter where you play in, in the world. So it's going to be a difficult game, but um, you know, it's going to be a game to enjoy. You have to enjoy these occasions. You, you don't get many opportunities to play against the likes of Wayne Rooney and other players that Chicharito and, and Sark, so many other players that they've got. So uh, as much as we want to win the game, it's important that we enjoy it. Have you got the orange shirt? Uh, Hans. Right here. What's your strategy for being competitive in this game, and what does the outcome of this game mean to the last? I can say a happy team is always a dangerous team, so we can have some happy players on the team, definitely, it's a challenge. We only have one session tomorrow to do some basic. Everyone knows the game and the these players, but try, try to find out the basic the attacking, defending, and I think Every game like this are important for the league. It would be nice to pick up a result to show not only in this league for the fans here, but also in Europe that you, you can compete, and especially in the pre-season games. So I think if we have a good day, I think it's absolutely a possibility to pick up a good result. But it's only one session with these guys, but they are experienced guys, tons of experience. They know the game, they know the, the basics, but we just have to do it with them. Hopefully, this has a bit of a good result. David, uh, do you see any chance to be there uh, on September 6th against us to be in the national team? I mean, uh, there was any uh, communication between you and Mr. Um, I, I'd love to be involved with the team. It's one of the reasons why you know, the, the question that was asked to Ted Thierry, it's one of the reasons why I went on like, to the 
for that to continue to be involved in the England team and I did for quite a few uh, quite a few games. So um, but yeah, you know, I, I've always said I want to be available for, for my country and to play for my country. We've got a lot of great young talent coming through and it's great that, that the managers you know are uh, giving these kids a chance because they're playing well at their at their league clubs uh, and, and they deserve it. So uh, I've always said that I'll always leave the door open wherever, wherever I go back and play or not. Um, I always want to be available for my country. I've loved playing for England for many years. Uh, I'm proud of playing for England 115 times. Um, but I'd love to play again. So um, I need to keep my fitness up. I need to play well over here. And, you know, I've always had a good relationship with uh, family. Oh, 
este, igual me estaba viendo los partidos en la televisión y se sentía raro el, el estar del otro lado, ¿no? El no poder estar ahí, aunque, aunque, aunque sea en la tribuna o apoyando al equipo, se siente muy diferente, pero ahorita estoy feliz, contento, siento lo mismo, con muchísimas ganas de, de trabajar día a día, de seguir creciendo, de seguir aprendiendo y bueno, y dar todo de mí para poder ayudar a este equipo. Okay, our next question will go on the left side here. Okay, yeah, had a great first season with United. What are you hoping to get out of next season? Do you think it'll be tougher now defence is maybe ready for you? No, the only thing in my mind is to, to, to work hard every day, to keep improving, to keep learning, to do all my best to help my team, because like, like I always say, the, If I score goals or I don't score goals, it's a consequence of all the, the effort team, of all the team effort. And I'm happy, I'm enjoying a lot, I'm keeping in, in, in a dream. It's a dream come true for me. I'm very happy and enjoying a lot. And uh, like I said, I repeat a lot because this is the way I think. I'm always only to, to keep improving and to, to do my best to go on my team. Can you go to Jack now? Sorry, Alex. I was wondering if you could, if you could discuss some of the some of the challenges of, of preparing the team for the season, and also meeting the the, uh, the financial demands of, of the club to, to go on tour before every season? Well, uh, as far as the financial concerns of the club, we've always won pre-season tours abroad, ever since I came to the club. The first one in 88 was in uh, Japan, uh, Thailand. So it's always been uh, part of our preparations to go abroad. Mainly, I would say in the Far East at the time it was a uh, fantastic fan base we had there. Now, in the last few years, this is the fourth trip to America in the last eight years, I think now, it's, it's a similar situation. It's not necessarily on the financial side of it, it's more about creating a fan base for the club. So that was that, that has been important. As far as the preparation of the team, that, um, and it never changed in that aspect too, that uh, no matter what happened last year, we tried to improve ourselves by detail, maybe 1%, 2%, and by doing that, we, we feel it's, we're going the right way. It's uh, important to remember that you would never sit on, on the success of last year because it does you no good. Uh, there's always a demand for, for us to do well, expectation from ourselves and from fans. Uh, and also, which we take great pride in, is the competition. In England, there's, uh, there's a bit of tribalism in the country in the sense of you go to London, you're going to meet London teams, you, you may be playing in Liverpool and you're going to be there, you play in Newcastle and the Jordan and you're going to be there. And there's that incredible intensity forces you to be your best all the time. Okay. Left side, second row. Wayne, this question is for you. Obviously your brother is playing for the New York Red Bulls here in Major League Soccer. How excited were you to hear when you scored the match winner in the uh, third round of the U.S. Open Cup? Um, yeah, obviously it was a big moment for him to, to score the winning goal. Honestly, I feel the same. The, the only thing that changes that, that I can play with, with the best team of the world. I keep playing, I play a lot of games, and I win the, the, the 19 titles with this team. I think it's the only thing to change. Indeed, that's